To a former NFL star who's gone from the locker room to the courtroom, and this has Arizona ties. Darren Sharper officially charged with rape today in California. This is video of him in court just hours ago. We've also confirmed he's being investigated for similar charges in our state, Nevada, and Louisiana. ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resendez is live in the newsroom now with more on the Arizona allegations. And uh, Mary Ellen, when did this happen? You know, Steve, it happened back in 2013, November of 2013. But police say they have been waiting for for drug tests and for DNA testing. In fact, they're still waiting for that DNA testing. Now, they say that Sharper was acquainted with at least one of these women, but the other two he had just met. You are to surrender your passport. Former NFL player and five-time Pro Bowler Darren Sharper kept quiet in a Los Angeles County courtroom where he's being charged with drugging and raping women. Tempe police say he also isn't talking to detectives over what happened the night he allegedly rendezvoused with a group of women in Scottsdale. Police say they were having drinks when one woman began to feel extremely intoxicated. So her friends returned her to her apartment at the hub near ASU. They had to actually carry her up the stairs and they put her in her room. After they put her in the room, um, there were a few other girls that were in there, some of her friends. Mr. Sharper allegedly began to mix some drinks, um, some shots, and he began to give these shots to the, to, the, to the girls. Sergeant Police says that's when another woman started feeling woozy and went to bed. A third then passed out in the common area. Both woke up the following morning and they didn't know what was going on, but they felt that they had been sexually assaulted. They do remember is taking the shots and passing out and going, laying on the couch and passing out and waking up the next morning. Both women passed out so cold, Tempe police say the last thing they remember were those drinks. But both went to the hospital where doctors confirmed they had been raped. The glasses they drank from tested positive for Ambien, a sleeping drug. If you do some research on that, this is a new type of uh, drug that's being used for the date rape type drug. Now, Shopper is being, hold, is being held in jail right now on a $200,000 bond. He is going to be allowed to bond out if he can post that $200,000. His next court date is next week where he'll be formally arraigned. Steve yeah, Kate? this is so scary because you wonder how many more women might come forward with a guy who's traveled all across the country. Thank you, Mary Ellen.